Demand for electric vehicles is clearly growing. Federal legislation is providing new incentives, and one out of every five vehicles sold worldwide this year is expected to be electric. But charging those vehicles can be complicated. Five challenges of electric vehicles in 2023. From the race against time to meet soaring market demand to the battle for charging infrastructure supremacy, the electric vehicle industry is in for a thrilling ride this year. The electric car market is driven by researchers' constant quest for innovation. But in the pursuit of greater efficiency and range, even the most inventive brains encounter obstacles. In today's video, we'll show you five challenges EVs are facing in 2023. Number one, universal fast charging. In the early years of electric vehicles, EVs, the absence of a universal standard for fast charging sockets presents a significant drawback for customers. Without a standardized approach, EV owners face the inconvenience of finding compatible charging stations and adapters, limiting their ability to embark on long journeys confidently. This issue exacerbates range anxiety, a fear of running out of charge before reaching a suitable charging point, which has been a persistent concern for potential EV buyers. From a consumer standpoint, the absence of a universal fast charging standard presents challenges and concerns. Customers who contemplate transitioning from traditional internal combustion engine, ICE, vehicles to EVs already contend with range anxiety. The fear of being stranded due to a lack of accessible charging options in emergency situations further intensifies their reluctance to make the switch. The need for a standardized charging socket becomes evident to alleviate these concerns and instill confidence in potential EV buyers. While the flexibility for experimentation and innovation is commendable, it is essential to address the long-term consequences and prioritize the needs of consumers. Establishing a standardized charging socket would not only alleviate range anxiety, but also create a more convenient and reliable charging infrastructure, fostering the transition to a sustainable and electrified future. Number two, high cost of charging, EVs. Household electricity costs have soared by an eye-watering 65% in the past year, further fueling these worries. Data collected by ZapMap, a trusted resource for EV charging information, paints a different picture. It shows that owning an EV remains significantly cheaper, as long as drivers primarily charge at home. Despite the surge in electricity prices, EV ownership retains its cost effectiveness compared to traditional fossil fuel-powered vehicles. This advantage stems from the relatively lower energy consumption of EVs and their reduced maintenance needs. By charging at home during off-peak hours or harnessing renewable energy sources, EV owners can soften the blow of escalating electricity costs. However, not every EV owner has the luxury of home or workplace charging facilities. This poses a significant challenge for those who rely on public charging infrastructure. The availability and cost of public charging stations can vary widely, creating barriers for individuals without access to private charging solutions. In such cases, EV owners often resort to public rapid and ultra-rapid chargers, which, according to the Royal Automobile Club, RAC, are only marginally cheaper than using fossil fuels. Number three, foreign market consuming supply. The overwhelming dominance of foreign markets in the supply of EVs China, renowned as one of the world's largest manufacturers and consumers of EVs, holds a pivotal role in shaping the global EV landscape. Moreover, other European nations, particularly Scandinavia, have surged ahead, leaving the UK trailing behind in terms of EV adoption. Consequently, the flow of EVs to the UK has been restricted, impeding the country's progress towards sustainable transportation. Despite continuous efforts to promote the advantages of EV ownership, a lingering sense of skepticism persists among the British public. Many individuals remain unconvinced about the tangible benefits that EVs can deliver. To overcome this skepticism effectively, it is crucial to intensify endeavors aimed at educating and informing UK consumers about the multitude of advantages associated with EV adoption. However, without a surge in consumer demand and a vibrant market for EVs, the UK risks being deprioritized by manufacturers and suppliers when allocating limited EV supplies. So tell us, why is demand for cheap, for greener vehicles going through the floor? 
Well, I think there's a, a series of factors, but fundamentally at the moment, I think the, the UK population is probably more worried about cost of living than anything else. And within all of that, there's the energy crisis, which is fueling, for want of a, uh, less of a pun, a, a concern around the, the actual energy price they're going to be putting into their vehicle, the, the electricity prices, of course. That is more of a perceived issue than a real issue, according to our data. But it is dampening demand in as much as the, the growth that we've seen over the past years is starting to sort of flatline a little bit. Number four, disruptions to EVs supply chain. At the heart of this upheaval lies the scarcity of semiconductors, a minuscule yet vital component used in a myriad of electronic devices, including EVs. These semiconductors power advanced systems such as infotainment, safety features, and battery management, making them indispensable in the world of electric vehicles. However, the shortage of semiconductors on a global scale has made their acquisition an arduous task stalling the pace of EV production. Another critical grappling with scarcity is the lithium-ion battery, the lifeblood of electric vehicles. These potent batteries empower EVs to embark on long journeys while delivering outstanding performance. Unfortunately, the supply chain for lithium-ion batteries is still in its nascent stages, struggling to keep pace with the mounting demand. This inadequacy in battery availability poses a significant hindrance to manufacturers, impeding the growth of the EV market. Amidst these challenges, a glimmer of hope emerges from Asia, where a coalition of companies has banded together to tackle the supply chain issues plaguing the EV industry. Their collective efforts focus on sourcing alternative materials for battery production and implementing recycling initiatives to maximize resource utilization. By tapping into new material sources and repurposing components from old batteries, they aim to alleviate the strain on the supply chain, nurturing sustainability and resilience. Number five, rural areas lack charging infrastructure. A valid criticism often raised against the EV market is the lack of sufficient charging infrastructure, which makes the switch from internal combustion engine, ICE vehicles, unviable for many consumers. Despite considerable efforts from private companies like ABB and government investments, it is anticipated that the demand for EV charging will outpace supply by 2030, leaving numerous drivers in a sticky situation. While most major cities have witnessed a commendable increase in charging infrastructure, rural areas still struggle with a slow rollout. London, for instance, boasts more EV charging points than all other counties in the UK combined. This glaring disparity highlights the urgent need for action to address the infrastructure gap in rural regions. The slower adoption of EVs in rural areas poses a significant challenge for local governments to justify increased spending on charging infrastructure. The limited infrastructure availability hampers EV adoption, leading to decreased investment. It becomes crucial to break this cycle and maintain the momentum of the EV revolution by ensuring equitable access to charging infrastructure throughout the country. The White House is supercharging plans to electrify American roads. The goal is to make it a little less stressful when looking for a place to charge your electric cars on a road trip. Now, right now, the White House estimates there are 130,000 charging stations in the country. And the aim is to grow that to a half a million by the end of the decade. Biden wants to do it with billions of dollars from the bipartisan infrastructure deal passed the last year. And to get that done, the White House is working with automakers. In the ever-evolving landscape of electric vehicles, the challenges faced in 2023 are not insurmountable. Through innovation, education, and collaboration, the electric vehicle industry can overcome these hurdles and pave the way for a greener and more efficient transportation system. What ways do you think these challenges in EVs can be solved? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to stay in the loop on all things EV, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy driving.